All right, guys, now that we have our, you know, basic housekeeping crap taken care of, let's go ahead and start building the init method. Now, this applet only has two methods. Of course, the first one is the init. And, uh, you know, I like putting a comment above all my methods just because whenever I build a huge program, these green things uh, help, you know, whenever I'm scrolling through them real quick, I can see where the methods start. So public void init and, of course, the first thing we need to do is now that we pretty much said okay Java we're gonna make a hash map and an array list we might as well in our init method go ahead and make them since you know we're always true to our promises so this one was named website info so let me just go ahead and copy that cr crap so website info equals new hash map and the title is a string and the URL which we want to tell our browser to go to is actually going to be a URL object and after this just go ahead and put empty parentheses just like that now after this do the same thing with titles which is our array list titles equals new array list and this takes the title which is a string and empty parentheses after that so now we created and I spelled array list with a lowercase l. Embarrassing. So now what we basically did is we created blank a blank hash map and a blank array list. Now eventually what we're going to be doing is we're going to be populating these with information, but for now we won't really worry about them. So remember that I told you guys that we're going to have two methods in this applet well of course the first method is this in it and a second one is going to be a method called grab HTML info now what this method is going to do if you guys couldn't guess it's basically going to take all you know you remember in the very first video or the 28th video whenever we made that HTML document well what this method is going to do is pretty much grab all the necessary information out of those parameters and stick them into a hash map in an array list because Java can't work directly with an HTML document it needs to convert them into something that's a little bit easier to work with so it's more familiar that with hash maps and arrays and crap than you know HTML documents so that's what this method is going to do so after this let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to code the rest of the init method and then we'll jump into grab HTML info I think that would be the easiest way to understand so what I want to do now is just add start building the GUI I'm gonna add this label right here that says what website do you want to visit and that's just you know nice to give the user a nice little prompt and in order to do that just go ahead and hit add new J label and is a parameter for J label takes a string what website do you want want to visit question mark and as the uh, second parameter what you need to do is you need to write where do you want this label and I'll just put it in border layout north and hopefully there we go I was saying alright that doesn't freaking turn blue then I messed something, around, messed something up alright so after that after we added our label to the GUI and again this just adds the title at the top of our applet what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and basically make the other part of the GUI which is a list so our GUI is really simple all it has is a label which is what website do you want to visit and a list underneath it and our list only has two items in it the new boston.org and Bucky's Twitter so let's go ahead and first of all make that list right now now the list is going to be this J list because of course since we have a J label we'll add a J list and that makes up the GUI so let's do that right now main list equals new J list and for a J list the first parameter it takes is and actually the only parameter is basically an array of items so what we want to do is take our array list which is titles and to convert it to an array use the method to oh look at this it already knows 
what we're doing. It's like going to code the rest of the project for me. So I'm just going to type in two letters and this is just going to code the rest of the applet for me. But anyways, what we did now is we're saying, okay, worry about this later on, but we want to add a um, pretty much a title to the applet and also the list, which is going to consist of all the titles. And basically there are only going to be two things in this list, the newboston.org and Bucky's Twitter. So after this, what we need to do is now that we have the shell of our applet made, we can go ahead and start adding some smarts or intelligence to our applet. Now, this is how our applet is going to work. There's going to be a listener that sits on the applet and waits for the user to make one of these selections. As soon as the user clicks one of these things, for example, I'm going to go ahead and click the new Boston.org right now, it's going to say, whoa, wait a minute, they just freaking click something. That means that I have to run some code to take them to the website. So anytime that you want to wait for the um, user or visitor of your website or applet to do something, you need to add a listener. Now the listener for this is, well, it's called a list selection listener, but I think what I'm going to do is wait for the next tutorial and then I can code my whole entire listener instead of breaking up between this video and the next one. So anyways, in the next video we're going to code the listener now that you know what it does. So thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you then.